Well, here we are again, and we're adding to our enhancement shell. The next thing I'd like to show you is how to add an announcement. Now, when you first get your enhancement shell, you already get these two default items, the dashboard homepage, and I'm going to just show you that very quickly, and then the announcements. Now, some instructors use this area, and they come over here, and they can edit the page banner, and they can put something like I have here welcome class. Then they can either add modules, so check that out, and they can move these around. Sometimes there isn't very many uh, modules that an instructor um, would like to use, and so they're not interested in this page. They would like the announcement page to be the point of entry for a student, so they either hide this or delete this. Now, we're going to be talking about announcements, because what I like about the announcements is that you can create a static announcement above to stay stationary throughout the whole class and you can also send announcements to emails so that's what I do and I think it's really effective to have both the announcement will stay in the class and then I also send an email out to everyone almost like an email blast actually it is an email blast now I would like to show you very quickly how you can make sure that the announcement area is going to be your point of entry if you decide to keep the dashboard. Most of the time it's going to be defaulted as the announcement, but what if you wanted to change it to the dashboard homepage? By the way, you can actually change the names of these labels on the menu. You can rename them. Many instructors like to call this the welcome page or the home page. Again, we're talking about two different uh, points of entry. You can choose which one. So one you want to choose, say for example, you wanted to make sure that the point of entry was the announcements, which again, it usually defaults to the announcement area. You're going to go into this control panel, customization, teaching style, and oh, there's a lot of sprinkles and icing you can actually um, provide and what I call sprinkles and icing are things like button styles for your menu and also some course themes. But this is really where I want you to go. I want you to make sure that you have the course entry point that you would like. So if you decide to focus on using the dashboard, go ahead and make that your point of entry. For this class and as most defaults, uh, shells, blackboard shells that is, the default for the point of entry is going to be the announcements. So I'm going to just make sure. I just wanted to show you that. Sometimes it's nice to know where other things are in the class if you'd like to change. And again, make sure you uh, explore the menu style and um, you could actually upload a banner. But I'm going to show you another way that you can actually put images into your Blackboard Enhancement Shell. So I'm going to collapse that for right now. Again, that's in your customization, teaching style to make sure your point of entry is what you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Announcements. And I'm going to go to Create Announcement. And you'll start to see a familiar pattern here. This is going to be a subject line, so if this is going to be part of your announcement that you're going to keep at the top the whole time, you could say welcome to the class and name your class. Here you have that text box editor. You can actually bring in an image. Uh, some of the instructors like to bring in an image and that way they can just keep it there the whole time. Make sure you use your alt tags and you can put a title in. Actually, you can copy and paste that. These are um, important for students that are not cited and they might need some adaptive technology to read back to them what this particular image happens to be. Then when we have um, our image in there, we can click on Insert and it will bring it into this text box area. That way you could actually um, move it around. Uh, use your justification and you could even make it smaller see how I'm doing that the bounding box appears and I can make things smaller especially the images and 
what I'd like to do probably here is put some information. Um, welcome to the class. Check and read the announcements. Oops, I want to make sure that's capitalized. Okay, we want our students to read the announcements because you could have an announcement weekly and that way your students would not only come to your Blackboard class and see an announcement, but as I mentioned, you could also send it out immediately. Now I'm going to make this not date restricted and the reason I like that about the announcement area is because I always want the announcements to stay. That way they're going to start to list chronologically and old announcements will be on the bottom but that's okay because there might be some information that students still need. Now because I'm going to make this announcement my static announcement almost like a banner I'm not going to send out this announcement to email and I'll show you how to do that next time when we do make an announcement that will go out to students but this is just like what I like to do to prepare um, the entry for the class I want it to make a little well let's just say I would like to make it a little bit more interesting than seeing something blank so here is my announcement now I'm going to keep it above the line so it stays here it doesn't move in chronologically order if it goes below the line then they'll start to be listed uh, chronologically so I have this one I'm gonna keep that so you could put any kind of picture again and you could I could even um, put this text and make this font different and make the font size larger so I'm gonna go back and make another announcement this is one that I do want to send out to students so I'm gonna say make sure to print out the syllabus and what I like about the announcement area is that you can put some information and also you could put in some pictures an attachment you can actually do a YouTube video from a webcam um, I can show you later on if you're interested and if you want to do some of the other um, activities in this course you could learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic that's the program I'm using to record a tutorial. You could have tutorials. There's just the sky's the limit when it comes to what you could put in in an announcement. So I'm just going to say remember to read the chapter and print out the syllabus. Okay, now when I'm done with my announcement, this time I'm going to come back here and I always make mine not date restricted because I believe again that announcements should just stay there and students can always go back and refer to them but I do want to send a copy of this announcement immediately to students email now this right here is if I wanted to have a course link if I had some content for example this might be a good idea when I clicked on the browse I could have a link straight to that syllabus because remember I said remember to read the chapter and print out the syllabus now I'm ready to submit so you can see what that looks like okay just to show you what happened instead of it going below the line it went on the excuse me it went on the top so I'm just gonna pull it down see how I can rearrange these actually it might be easier just to I was thinking it might be easier to just pull it pull it up or pull it down it just depends on sometimes these um, drag and drop can be fidgety so now I still have my banner as I call it here and that's just um, you know information that I want to say st static throughout the whole class and now I have one of my announcements so a new announcement every time I go to create announcement will actually go below the line I also want you to notice that this link this course link that I made if a student clicks on that it will take them to that syllabus area that you told them about and there it goes right there isn't that great okay thanks